Hey, this is Steve Walker from Mind Over Muscle, and today I want to share my top five tips for increasing energy and reducing stress. Now, I appreciate you guys. I know very stressful job. You don't have the luxury of eating three, four times a day. I know sleep can sometimes be difficult, and I know keeping those healthy foods in, you love your caffeine. So here are a few hacks. Number one, hydrate. For every cup of coffee you have, you want to drink at least as much plain water to hydrate the body from that, because coffee is actually a diuretic, meaning it's going to dry you out. Ideally, you want to have one to two liters of water a day if you're around the 50 kilo, 120 pound mark. If you're quite heavy like me, 100 kilograms, 16 stone, you'll want to aim for about three to four liters of water a day. Caffeine should ideally be stopped about six hours before bed, the latest, ideally about 10 hours if you can. Tip number two is eat slow releasing foods. So what do I mean by that? Now I'm sure most of you guys have heard of the glycemic index, meaning you have a food like bread or a donut or sugar and it just spikes the blood sugar and you'll have a massive boost of energy but then very shortly after you're gonna crash. And of course, if that sugar isn't used for energy, if you're not running a marathon straight after, it will be stored as fat. So if you eat foods such as sweet potato, butternut squash, um, potatoes can be okay, but generally things like brown rice would be better. And try and avoid foods such as bread, bagels, the delicious donuts, anything that's gonna be super high in sugar, and you're gonna have a slow release of energy, you're gonna feel better, you're gonna feel fuller for longer, and you'll generally just avoid that crash in the day. So tip number three is movement. Now I know what you're thinking, you're walking around the office, hospital, workplace all day, and you're moving around, so therefore you should be full of energy. Well, not necessarily, it's about the type of movement you do. So movement creates energy. So doing something like a squat, getting nice and low when you really get the blood pumping and you're putting some positive pressure on those muscle fibers is really gonna ramp the metabolism up, it's gonna flood your body with all the growth hormones, all the endorphins that make you feel good. So if you can find a little spot, a quiet spot, even go in a cubicle um, for five minutes and just do some squats, nice and low, do some star jumps, just do something that gets the blood pumping. And as strange as it sounds, this is gonna really make you feel better. Even if you're feeling a bit runny nose, sometimes I do a set of press ups, and it's almost like my allergies will miraculously disappear. It's incredible what movement will do just to make you feel better. Tip number four, and I'm sure this is a subject that a lot of you are gonna feel quite emotional about, sleep. Now, sleep is so, so important for every single function in the body. It's massively important for memory. It's actually got a lot of links to things like Alzheimer's as we get older. Sleep's very important to actually help your body burn fat. It's been proven that people that get less than seven hours on average tend to have one third more body fat. So in an ideal world, if you can get at least seven hours sleep, eight hours would be an absolute dream. Now I'm just gonna give you a few tips for doing that. So if you do have the time to do some kind of exercise first thing in the morning before work, as crazy as that sounds, it's gonna really help you sleep later. Making sure you get some sunlight if you can early in the day is really gonna help. Before you go to bed, taking something like 5-HTP will help you sleep better and also it will actually increase your, your mood the next day because it's actually linked to serotonin which is the feel good hormone. So yeah, getting a good night's sleep is absolutely crucial. I know you come home from a long day of work and you wanna watch reality TV shows for two or three hours. Try and switch off that screen on your iPad, iPhone for at least an hour before you go to bed and go, go old fashioned, go old school, read a book and you will sleep like a baby. Tip number five is vitamins, supplements. Now, I know it's not always easy, especially on a very busy schedule to get your meals in. So what you can try is vitamin D3. If you're working inside all day and you're not seeing sunlight, this is gonna be the difference between night and day, pardon the pun, when it comes to your mood. So the D3, take 5,000 IUs a day, maybe even a little bit more than that, and you'll really find that you feel better, your mood will be brighter. B vitamins as well, vitamin B12 has been proven to really increase those energy levels. And as the day winds down to a close, taking magnesium before bed. Magnesium has been found to be responsible for just about every 
action in the body with regards to cell repair, with regards to recovery. Magnesium is also kind of anti-stress hormone, so it really helps your body unwind. And of course, that stress hormone actually slows down your metabolism and causes you to store fat. So we wanna have the opposite. So you wanna really keep your stress levels nice and low. So I hope you've enjoyed my top five tips on increasing energy and reducing stress. The important thing here is don't put too much pressure on yourself to get them all done. Just start with one of those tips and build on it as the weeks go and you'll find you've got more energy and your mood is much brighter. My name is Steve Walker. This is Mind Over Muscle. If you want to find out more tips, just drop me a line on my Facebook page, which is mindovermuscle.club. That's mindovermuscle.club. And I look forward to seeing you in the next installment.